All right, Miley, open them peaches. I believe in you. Get it, get it. You get it. We were digging. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, you missed our singing. Welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the vlog. All right. We're waiting for one more kid to get in here. We gotta go to grandma's and grab Maddie, and then we are headed to a carnival? Fiesta days? Fair? Fair. Fiesta days, Fair. carnival. Booths of stuff. People. Peep stuff, <laughs> things. And that's it, <laughs> right? Another family adventure. This, you guys, we're gonna have to get a new camera pretty soon. This one is struggling hard. Is it? Oh. The focus is, how do we look? Is it okay? Let this thing has been through up. lots of life. Good. We're waiting for one more kid, and uh, okay. there she is. <laughs> Hello? It's my there she is! Alright, on the road, let's go. <laughs> we made it to the carnival. We've been karaoke in all the way. You guys want to see our karaoke travel adventures? Whenever we karaoke anything in the van, we usually put it on Instagram and then I highlight it down in one of the circles. It'll say, I think it says car karaoke. You can go look, look, look at our funny. funny karaoke stuff on our Instagram at uh, the good bits, the good bits that. underscore family. So you can go check those out, everybody. We should choreograph a song to one of the car karaoke. It's just like have one song, the whole, whole family just like. And sometimes so I funny. go like this, I'm like, dun 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 and Maddie goes, I I <laughs> It's the same size as the Look thing on the side. Awesome. That's pretty wow. rad. We got two. Out yeah, of your head. Two. Nice. Oh, there it is. Hi, <laughs> Napa. Oh, since she's had mono, she's like, no, we're not showing anything. And we didn't even have to go to Disneyland. Really good. You drive, Mom? Can I drive? Yeah, I can drive. No, I mean, did you have some? Oh, no, I didn't try any yet. I'll get some. Thank you, pineapple dough with funnel cakes. Mom. Delish. Oh, boy. <laughs> She's moving it. They're eating the bedoodle whip. Brain freeze isn't going away. Brain freeze? Small she ate bite. too fast. Small bite. Oh, wait. I like this. Do you like it, little girl? I like it when you grab this. Just dip it into the green stuff. Oh, you put some juice on it? Oh, lovely. <laughs> that ride that was the freak out ride? Oh, it was Heck no. Heck to the no will I ride that ride, ever. We, we rode the best rides, treats. Yeah. And Miley did find a dress, she'll show you she her. She did, and it's beautiful. And we'll take the kids to ride rides when it comes to our town, and that'll be awesome. But there's there's one night, they do like a dollar ticket night, and we'll do that in pace. Yeah. Freak out, no thanks. We've moved location. We're actually shopping for Dutch oven liners because we have a Dutch oven party tonight and I've lost my family. We need to see if I can find them. I found my family. And there's also puppies here. Very cute puppies. And Hallie really wants to pet them super, super, super bad. But you guys, her allergies are so bad. I'm hesitant. But we might let her pet them before we leave. Maybe, we'll see. No, you don't need any more scraping. But this one was the one I needed because I didn't know if Dior would do trick. Uh-huh. Or we could get the bronze. Bronze. Let's go find bronze our family. One. Come on. 
Come. Or another silver. Come on. Run, come on. Come on. Have hammered steel come on. Now. Looking. 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 <gasps> Smoker staff. Yeah. Found him. <gasps> Did you find it? I want to show mom that I found it. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Yay. You found it. We're going to make. What are we making? This is going to be cobbler. That's going to be cobbler. And the other one that we already have in search for is going to be lasagna. Yeah. It's going to be so good. Dutch oven tonight. Dun, 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 dun. What did you find? Uh, rub some butt. Rub some butt. Aha. Uh -huh. It's for uh, smoking, for pork butt. Ooh. So Delish. you need some of this. Or it looks like they've got a plethora of rubs bone and sauces. Sucking. Bone sucking sauce. <laughs> What is bone, it? Bone sucking sauce. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Dad needs to come here for his smoking supplies. I, I guess so. Look at these guys. They're so cute. Candy's been there playing with.com on Facebook. They're just sleeping. I like the gray one. And she likes. She likes that one. I like that one. Maddie obviously likes that one. Yay, they're so cute. So we're home now, and I'm making the lasagna. I've got my sauce all prepared, and this is the cheese mixture, and the noodles, and we're gonna throw them all together in. <laughs> I'm gonna go light a fire. <laughs> Make some briquettes. Oh, thank you. And we're gonna throw them in the Dutch oven. This one. This is a 12 inch. We're gonna layer it in there, and it's gonna be delicious. And just like that, we have fire. <laughs> and there it is. She tried on her cute dress she got at the carnival, Fiesta Days. It has pockets. It's got pockets. It fit me perfectly. <laughs> it won't. No. It's mine. It's very flowy, Miley. It's really pretty. Is that what you wanted, was flowy? <laughs> I don't like tight clothing. Okay. Like you like freedom? The recipe we're doing is a family favorite that I learned clear back when I was a little boy scout and it is peach cobbler and Miley's gonna throw this together and show you how it is to be done. We're making a big one though. We're making a 14 incher Huge on the big one. They open yeah. them peaches. I believe in you. Get it. Get it. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Your jelly belly, your jelly bean fingers. Yeah. All right. When we use do sugary things in our Dutch ovens, we use these liners. They're fairly cheap, but you can get them like Walmart or whatever. And you can't get these 14 inch ones at Walmart, but most of them you get at Walmart. So first we're doing, we're doubling our normal batch because we're gonna go uh, with a lot of people this Dutch oven thing. So it's two, what are those? Cans of peaches. Jars, large jars of it's peaches. Like a pint of peaches. So we're doing two of those for the bottom Mom, layer. That Mom can. And then two white or yellow cake mixes. Like I said, you do one can of peaches to one box of cake. Since we're doing two, we're doing two. <laughs> one bag. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> okay. You put it right on the peach sauce. Then Dad's working on another one. It's hard with only one hand. <laughs> Alright, second bag of cake mix is going in. I was like backboard, so it wouldn't fall. <laughs> Sprinkle it, and it seems like it's gonna be dry, and we'll see what we'll do to help that in just a moment. So we spread that all evenly, and then what you do is you spread it out so it's all spread out evenly. So it covers all of it. Then you actually kind of like poke it a little bit. So it actually kind of semi mixes in with all the peach um, sauce, all the peach juice that's down in there. So you poke it a bunch, and then I'll show you the next piece that we're gonna do. Okay, like that. The other thing you do to make it moist is you're, we're actually gonna put a whole cube of butter on top of this. She's gonna cut it into little, what are those called, pats? Lovers. I think they're called pa a pat of butter. 
I think it's called a pat of butter. A pat of I think butter. You, you learned something new today. I also learned what's the other thing I don't know. And she'll just like spread them all over the top of this. Mm -hmm. It'll be awesome. Do a swirl. Extra Order. delicious. Oh no. Oh no. It's stuck together. Oh boy. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we're all buttered up. Now we'll, uh, let's have you put the lid on and take it outside. Ready? So, what are we doing now, Dad? Okay, so, <laughs> you can, if you've never done Dutch ovens before, you can stack them. And mostly a general rule, depending on how much temperature you need, general rule is you take the diameter of the lid. So this is a 12 inch, and you put one third, so that's how many briquettes he uses 12, and you put one third underneath and two thirds on top, because heat rises, mm. so you need less underneath. So mm -hmm. on a 12, you put four underneath and eight, eight on, top. on top. But if you stack them, I just spread out those ones down there, and now I'll put the eight on top of this one. It's gonna be so good. But it's so hot that I think we could just leave it on the cement, and know, it would seriously. cook just fine. It's it like is 100 degrees out here right now. so hot right now. It gonna be so good. So the bottom one, my friends, is the cobbler, and the top one is the lasagna. We should have made like brownies or something to do three layers. Oh so geez. We went camping to a family reunion one time in spring at Fish Lake, and we had a big stack of these stacked up. Mm -hmm. And our little girl Maddie mm -hmm. running around and playing, and she leaned her leg right against yeah. one of them. What was it, mom? And she was probably about six. Yeah. About that big. Kid you not? Yep. Is big that old that big? huge burn and blister right on the side of her calf. Yeah. And like, ugh, it was, it was gross. so bad. It was bad. But you, like, I don't think, like, a couple years ago we looked for it and you could barely, like, you could barely see. There was, like, a barely, I don't think you can see it at all now. Yeah. She was really good about keeping the wrap on it and we kept moist yeah. or the antiseptic stuff on it. And it was crazy, though. Okay. So I put too sad. many in this one. Uh oh. Too many. Oh, it's too hot. It it's a deep one, so it's probably going to be okay. Yeah. And it's kind of, it's like, a inch or it's like two inches away from the top so yeah. it should yeah, be it's fine down here so it should be okay so yay it's gonna be so go. good thanks dad yay. all right the dutch ovens are done i've got them precariously loaded on the flat back of the truck so i'm gonna have to drive like five miles an hour all the way there to this uh shindig but uh, the cobbler looks awesome and smells awesome and so does the lasagna but check out my boots <laughs> yep I do own a pair of cowboy boots. I've had them for a while, but let's get on to this shin. These are cowpoke, ready to go to the cowboy. What is this? What's it called? It's a Dutch oven cook-off showdown late night movie thing. Yes. I'll are you a hillbilly or a cowboy? Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. We made it, and it's a potluck deal. Let me show you what's here. <laughs> <laughs> open that one, open that one, honey. There's how our cobbler turned out. And there's the lasagna. <laughs> Alright, Ma. How's your Dutch oven cooking? So good. The lasagna turned out great. I can't believe they did bread in there. I'm so afraid of doing bread in my Dutch oven. I know. It's crazy. Scares that kind of me. There's like two of them over there. Granted, these ones were done in the oven, but <laughs> I kind of want to try it. I think it would just be like way less. What do you? What temperature do you cook the uh, bread at? 350. 350? 350, 325. Oh, that's the same as what you cook cobbler and lasagna. What? Yeah. Okay, we could do it. Okay. We could totally do it. Oh. Maybe we'll try some rolls in that 14 incher next time. Okay. Next time we have an assignment of rolls, we'll cook them in a Dutch oven. What do you say? I'm on it. <laughs> no, I'll do it. I can do it. I'm not afraid. I'll do it. Oh, okay. You can do it. <laughs> okay, so they've got some uh, rocket things over here with like compressed air they're shooting sponges out of. These guys are playing monkey in the middle. They're playing a game that seems like 500, but they call it something else. I don't know what it is. What is it? Three flags. Three flags. Oh, okay. And then a whole bunch of adults chit-chatting over here the Dutch ovens still good over there and they're throwing together Miley and those guys over there singing and playing ukulele over there behind there and then Kevin's over there somewhere making homemade ice cream oh yeah for root beer floats
what's your point, Mr. McDonald? No point, just an exhibition of marksmanship. Uh, okay, guys, home. that is it. We are home. We just watched a movie on the side of the bar, and it was awesome. It was, it was uh, so funny. Support Your Local Sheriff. I've never seen that. It's, it's pretty good. It was funny. I think there's another one called Support Your Local Gunfighter or something, so I'll have to catch that one another day. But that was hilarious, <laughs> and I like Westerns. But I've never seen that one. But Okay, that's it for today, guys. Thanks good for night. Be the good. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. 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 Okay, okay. No, K. K. So, K. Oh, ah, K, K. K. Ah! <laughs>